What would your response be if I were to say that effectiveness must be learned? Most people actually render themselves ineffectual because they focus on effort and not on actual results. Being effective is about getting the right things done. Intelligence, imagination and knowledge are essential resources, but it's only effectiveness that converts them into results. Intelligence, imagination and knowledge set the maximum limit for those results. Most staff can only be helped and coached. They cannot be supervised closely. And if you need excessive supervision, then this is frankly a waste of your time or resources. Effectiveness comes from hard, systematic work. It's a habit formed by a set of practices. Practices can be learned through repetition. Author Malcolm Gladwell in his book Outliers suggests that elite performance, I think he used the example of violinists, had each totaled 10,000 hours of practice. Now, that was to become an outlier, men and women who are out of the ordinary, clear of their peers, people, you know, I suppose, in sports such as Tiger Woods or Serena Williams. So 10,000 hours is far more than you need to develop effectiveness through practice. However, consistency comes from repetition. So try and focus on your actual contribution. What can you contribute that will significantly affect the performance and results of your business? Practice repeatedly focusing on what your contribution actually is. The difference you can make by being effective rather than efficient. Just because you can answer that question quicker than someone else should, does not mean that you should be the one to answer it. Answering it may be more efficient but not an effective use of your time. Remember, most people are ineffectual because they focus on effort and not on actual results. It's the outcomes, not outputs, that will drive your business faster and more profitably.